cannot even see light. Uh, it's red. Uh -huh. Wow, what kind of sun is this? Nothing to eat to you. Friends told us when you put yourself in that situation, people don't respect you. Most of the time, when he comes, is to see how I'm going. It's not because he wants to eat. Because then let's see conga garnish. Good morning, guys. So, my pass for today. Today is Saturday, and naka prepare na yung aking lunch. Siga so, ko to ginagawa para magalas na lang yung gagawin ko. And hindi ako nagmi make up ngayon dahil nagpili yung face ko, guys. Ayan, nag sunblock lang ako. Anyway, ito yung OOTD natin ngayon, guys. Kasi medyo malamig na, pero may palas ng ano tayo ng shoulder. And black light. Ayan, hindi pa ako naka sleep for it. Ito yung aking lunch. Ayan, fish with baby broccoli rice and lettuce. Then yung boiled egg, guys. And ito, kainin ko din ito ngayong umaga. Just want to put my lip. I, I have disability something. Um, certificate, certificate 3. You don't need a certificate 10. There's nothing like that because that's when someone say, well, there's nothing like that. What's he talking about? You know, I should have gone here, but it's too late for, to give the indicator. But the car in my back will just chew my ass. This one, run, run, run. Look at where she is. You know, this idiot. Yeah. You see? She's, you know, the car is, uh, you can see. Okay. The car is all like us because she parked outside. That's it. See, when you see a car like it's that, too hot. Uh, no, really, uh, it, it's all sorts of reason. I mean, I park my car outside, right? yeah. you see. So, for that, sometimes people pour things on it. I don't know, those sort of things happen. <laughs> so, you cannot say specifically because a lot of people see in this method, like, see, all these people park outside all the time because they don't have a place to park inside, no garage. Mm -hmm. Okay, you see. But their car does not appeal like that. I mean, the red car, I've always parked it outside. Yeah? Yeah, uh -huh. but they never. Yeah, you see. So I don't know. Or so I don't know the reason. Don't listen to people to judge, you know. Don't, don't undersell yourself. That's part of what that guy said, the one I share. Don't undersell yourself. Because someone say I like going to a restaurant. It's because two reasons they go to a restaurant. It's because they can't fucking cook or they lazy ass. Because if you can cook, the only thing is if you're lazy. Yeah. If you're lazy, then you're lazy. You have to pay for it. Everything we do in life, I mean, do you think it's easy, if you, it's easy for me? But I look at it, make it easy in my brain when I'm cooking. I look at it as what makes me happy. That's what makes, you know? Doesn't make doesn't it make everybody happy when they're eating the food? When you're eating a good food, aren't you happy? It doesn't have to cost an arm and a leg. When we say that in Australia, it means it doesn't have to cost a lot of money to eat nice meal. I can make snitter, I can make steak, I can make anything in my house. That's looking after yourself. That's a good investment. If I sit down, you see me. I sit down there and I'm, I'm eating. You see, I'm dreaming. You now, sometimes you ask me, you dreaming? Yeah, I'm dreaming because I'm in a restaurant all the time. <laughs> yeah, all the time. I'm not in a fake world. Fake, you know? People live in a fake world. All these so-called celebrities, you see, you hear, ah, they get it. Oh, these idiots who, I'm healthy. Who is healthier than me? Israel is 110 years old. <laughs> but I feel great. Yeah, I'm people I'm, all the time asking me, even they message me privately on my Instagram. They say how old this is. I'm not ashamed of you know, you know me, I'm proud. I'm proud about it. You see? I'm proud about it. Because to be young is not just how you look. To be young is how you feel, mm -hmm. how you think. Yeah. That's what makes people young. That's what you know, I'm ch see I wake up in the morning. I'm going to work this morning now. I'm not like a lot of people thinking, oh, oh God, I'm going to that job today. No, it's like I'm thinking, all I'm going to do is go there, pick him up, we go drive, go to take the bus to Gola, 
I sit down there, I check my this and I check investment and I'm I'm looking at a place in London or New York or oh, or Angola. Anyway, internet. I just go anywhere. I can go anywhere from where I am. It's an incredible feeling. See that's a positive thinking. Whereas some people say, oh no, I don't like internet. Oh, they scam you. It's all the negative things people concentrate on. I say money you can't see is money you don't have. It means if you hide money, so anybody try it. Go and hide for, no? um, probably for three weeks now, four weeks. I keep finding out this one dollar in my pocket. Then I remember, holy shit, whenever I wear the pen, I put my hand, I see one dollar. So I'm thinking, but they say it's a sign of good luck. But I never remember to take it off. It's always there. It's not nobody's gonna steal it. Yeah. Okay, money, so I never know. Holy shit, something has happened there. I never know. Shit. Oh, fire. Fire. Okay. Holy so shit. Tiny. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm fine now. I cannot even see light. Oh, it's okay. red. Uh -huh. Oops. This one is so. Yeah, I can see it now. So. Wow. Wow, yeah, I wow. Now. Yeah, I know. I've seen it now. Wow, what Nothing. kind of sun is this? Nothing I do. Okay, see. Okay, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> when you say, if I can't see, I can't turn, because I would not turn. Because okay. Yeah. See you yeah. later. Yeah. Later. Nakauwi na ako ng bahay, guys. And yung binili pala namin ni Ate Marilu sa Costco is dinapos ko siya. And actually, nakapagluto na ako nito. And masarap siya, guys. Try nyo. Masarap siya. And ang mura din niya. Tatlo siyang ganito. Then, parang $12 na siya ganun. Ayan siya, guys. Ayan. Try nyo sa mga may Costco sa kanilang country at sa mga taga Australia. Try nyo, guys. Worth it. Masarap siya. Ano siya? Um, medyo maanghang siya. Then, basta malasa siya, guys. Ang sarap niya. And anyway, nag-depress ulit ako and babaan ko siya sa work bukas. And niluto din ako ng isang ampalaya, guys. Ito, nilabas ko na. Kani-kanina pa ako naka-uwi, guys. And nakaligo na din ako. So, ito yung ampalaya ang nilutuin natin. Nilutuin ko na yung dalawa. And bumili ako ng papaya. Gusto-gusto ko ng papaya ngayon. And bumili din ako ng atis. Ayan. First time ko nalang makakain ng atis dito sa Australia, guys. Super mahal siya, ha? <laughs> Hindi ko na-expect. Isa lang na ito. Nasa $5 something na siya, guys. So, pagpalagay natin mga 200 pesos in Philippine peso. <laughs> Tapos, meron kami nito dati sa Philippines na puno. Ayun, na-miss ko siya, guys. And ngayon na lang talaga ako kakain. Actually, pwede ko na siyang kainin. Try natin. Ayan, na malambot na siya. Ayan, tikman ko kung matamis. Na nakaligo na ako, guys. And... Gusto ko lang di mag-vlog na yun ulit. Ayan. Matamis siya, guys. Parang yung atis din sa Pilipinas. Mmm. Sarap matamis. Tinigman ko lang. Mamaya ko na ito kakainin. lagay kasya siya dito para hindi madudog kasi masyadong sensitive ang atis hindi ko siya tinignan kung anong tawag nila dito sa Australia dito is atis sa Philippines diba and yung papaya ready to eat na din to pero may atis tayo So, magbabalat lang tayo ng 
ampalaya and di pura ako magluto ng ampalaya guys meron lang ako may nag-comment nun guys pero sa akin is bali wala lang naman yun sa akin kumbaga parang share ko lang is my opinion sabi nila citizenship ka na uh, sabi nila nakakuha ka na ng citizenship so iiwan mo na yung asawa mo oh my god na, na ano ko guys alam mo yun alam ko marami sa ating mga Pilipino na nag-asawa ng mga foreigner na may mga edad na then yung iba is iniiwan yung iba naman is hindi so wag mo natin nalahatin so my situation guys is hindi ko naman maano yung mga ibang Pilipina na iniiwan nila yung asawa natin kasi wala tayo sa mismong position nila ako ano ba talaga yung pinagdaanan nila ako ano ba talaga yung problema nila so wala akong masasabi doon so hindi ko alam yung iba is ay yung habol lang is talaga makalating dito then iiwanan nila yung asawa nila so nasa sa kanila na lang yun guys sila na yung magdadala noon kung baga, bakit ko iiwan yung asawa ko alam ko nag-aaway kami hindi kami perfecto hindi perfecto yung relationship namin guys sinasabi ko sa inyo yan open ako dyan and yung advantage ng napangasawa ka ng mas may edad sa'yo is ikaw yung inaalagaan. Tulad nito guys, yung asawa ko yung nagluluto talaga. Hindi ko na siya kailangan na si Kasuin. Siya yung nagsya-shopping. Pero guys, I'm proud to say na tumutulong ako sa mga bayaran dito sa bahay namin. So, hindi po ako pa pasarap lang sa buhay. Tumutulong ako kay Isi. Nagtatrabaho ako. So, kailangan ko tulungan yung asawa ko. Hindi ako din nalang ng asawa ko dito para magpakasarap lang sa buhay ko. And yung pinapadala ko naman sa Philippines, guys, is galing din sa pinaghirapan ko yun. So, proud ako doon, guys. Wait lang, bumababa yung bra ko. <laughs> Wala tayong makapitan. So, ayun lang, guys. Gusto ko lang i-share sa inyo yun. Kasi marami niya ang mga marites. Marami niya mga mapanghusga. Ayan. So, iba din talaga kapag may asawa kang may edad sa'yo. Ikaw talaga yung inaalagaan. Sa lalo na sa sitwasyon ko, guys, mahilig magluto yung asawa ko, siya yung nagluluto, and kung ano yung mga kailangan ko, binibili niya na hindi ko na kailangan sabihin, ano yung mga gusto ko ng mga pagkain. Pagdating talaga sa pagkain, guys, walang ano yan si Easy. Go, go, go yan. Kain sa bahay, guys, sa food, wala akong masasabi kay Easy. Napaka-generous niya sa food sa bahay. Kung ano yung mga kailangan na nandyan, hindi mawawala. Kung ano yung kailangan ko, sasabihin niya, binila kita pag uwi ko ng work. Meron akong binili sa iyo, alam ko gusto mo to, ganun, ganyan, ganyan. So, napaka maalaga siya talaga, guys. Madaldal yung asawa ko, pero yung daldal niya, may matututunan ka naman, guys. Ating din sa mga damit, ayan, maalaga siya. Lagi niya akong binibilhan ng mga damit. And ang galing niya pumili ng mga damit na babagay din sa akin. And syempre, inaano din niya sa akin, guys, ha? Gusto mo ba to bago din niya minsan may order and minsan gusto minsan alam din niya talaga yung mga gusto ko na damit. So ayun, ayun lang guys. So hindi ko po iiwan yung asawa ko dahil nakuha ko na yung akin citizenship. Sana noon pa, noon permanent pa lang ako, pwede ko na siya iwan, pwede na ako makapag-stay dito. 7 years na kami together, guys. And kapag may edad na rin ang napangasawa mo, medyo settle na sila sa life nila. Gulay is life. Napapadaldal na naman tayo. Nagluto pala si Easy ng fried rice, guys. Pagkarating. So, ayun yung aking baon tomorrow. And, eto. Yung piprito natin. And, may konti tayong gulay. Gusto ko talaga sinasabayan ko siya ng gulay. Nagpunta siya ng Costco. Naubos ko na yung um, yung matawag doon yung yung baby broccoli, masarap siya guys. Matamis-tamis. So sabi niya, bibilang kita pag pumunta ako ng Costco. Pero hindi daw niya makita. Sayang. Sabi niya, next time na lang. Yung isa sa hug ko dito is itlog lang guys. Sa mga hindi pa nakapalo sa akin dyan guys, sa aking Instagram account, ilalagay ko dito, please follow me. Kasi madalas ako mag-upload sa, sa Instagram ko na mga ginagawa ko sa buhay. Mas updated ako dun guys kasi hindi ako nakakapag-edit agad-agad. Bakit ba ang lalo-lalo niya? Kasi pwede mo na siya malapit sa akin. Hirapan tuloy ako. Ayan. Maraming advantage ang mag-asawa ng may edad sa'yo. Bibigyan ka nila ng mga pagkakamali nila before. Yung mga advices. 
Lalo na sabi sa akin ni AC, noong bata din siya, medyo magastos din daw talaga siya, mahilig siya, maluho siya. So, pinagsasabihan naman niya ako, pero sabi niya, syempre alam ko pera mo pa din yan, nagtatrabaho ka, deserve mo, pero sana mag-save-save ka, ganun. So, sinasabihan niya talaga ako. Ito yung niluto ni AC na fried rice, guys. Ayan. So, babaon ko din to bukas. And, magluto na ako ng ampalaya. When you marry and marry and marry and marry and marry. Okay, olive oil. Just a little bit. Pagsasabayin ko na ito, guys. Yung onion and garlic. Akala ko may ano kami. Tumato. Wala na pala ubus na. So, no choice ako na nahiwa ko na yung ampalaya. Ilagay natin yung egg. Maglit lang magluto ng ampalaya. Then ipiprito ko na yung franski from Costco. Mga 2 minutes na lang din luto na yan. Tikman natin guys, kung pwede na. Baka nag-init-init eh. Kasi pa. So, ito naman yung aking nulutuin. Ipiprito lang natin to guys. Diba ito parang hindi maano yung gulti. Yun. Good. Why don't you just put on the condition to keep food small up? That's all I'm getting out of here. When I told Isaac, I mean Moses, on Saturday, we'll, we'll come to Casablanca. Mm -hmm. He's excited about that. He's looking forward to that. Because, wow, yeah, it's going to be here. It's because I don't go out often. If yeah. I'm going out every weekend, my brother, oh yeah, my brother, yeah, I go drink, eat. It's not going to be respect. It's like, uh oh, here it comes again. That's, you know, 
See, my parents told us, when you put yourself in that situation, people don't respect you. You see? Yeah, my brother owns the place, or pack owns the place, then I go. Because it's a business. Yeah, only one time we go there before, in your birthday. Okay, time. it's a business. Yeah. See, when I own restaurant, Moses will come, at least in a month, he will come there three times. But most of the time when he comes there is to see how I'm going. It's not to, because he wants to eat. Because he could be sitting, when we're eating, or if he's busy, he will start taking place. Or go to the bar, do things for me. I don't need to tell it. It's the same when I have calabash. It's just, he comes there to see me. But it's my brother in our, in our culture, when you don't charge your family, but if they come in all the time, taking advantage of it, yeah, yeah. then you stop them. Naka-ready na din yung aking lunch for tomorrow. Fried rice with ampalaya din na lagyan natin ng crunchy. Lagyan tayo ng 3 pieces guys. Yes. Ayan. Mamaya ako na siya tatakpan din lagyan natin sa fridge. Oh, this Ito, binili ko to sa Cotton On. Then, nilagay ko selfie ed. Super cute. Maliit lang siya, guys. And, lagyan natin siya ng battery. Talaga si Easy kung bumili ng mga gamit sa bahay. Maramihan talaga eh. Kahit yung battery namin, super dami. <laughs> Tignan nyo naman, guys. Oh. Iba-ibang klaseng battery meron kami dito. May pabilog. Iba't-ibang size. May maliit. Meron pang mas maliit. Diba? Eh, di ba? Kumuha lang ako ng screwdriver. Para buksan. Let's see. When you mind it, my body and my body and your mind. Naiba yun, no? What's going on? Hey! Ano ba ito? Hey! Yeah, yeah. Parang akat na battery ang kailangan niya. Ito siguro. I say hey! What's going on? Paano ko ba ito tatanggalin? You are the one in my, mm, my inspiration. Ah no, it's too big. Hindi ito guys, yung maliit, ito pala yung triple A. Ayan. Triple A. Ito, ito triple A din. May bukas na kami. May, binili agad si Easy na extra. We need four. Four, four, four. Okay. Then, how about it? What then? Then like that. I like that. Oops. Okay. Do. Then. then let's see. Kung gagana siya. Ayun guys, may ilaw na. Ayan, di ba? O, di ba? Tarush. Then, nakalagay ito doon sa ano ko guys. Nagatagal ko nang binili yan. Ngayon ko lang siya nilagyan ng battery. Okay. Hindi ko na siya kailangan tanggalin yung isko. So, ganyan siya guys. O, pero parang hindi mo makita yung ano no. Yung letter niya. Masyado kasing maliit. Magpa-plancha na ako. Dito ko siya nilalagay guys sa aking uh, madilim dito. Ayan, ganyan. Dito ko siya nilalagay. Diba? Oh, di lang makita sa ano kay. 
Ayan. Ito yung aking iba plancha. Guys, but anyway, ikoklose ko na yung vlog ko for today and hopefully you enjoy my videos and hope to see you on next one, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and sa mga hindi pa nakapalo sa akin on my Instagram account, please follow me. Bye, guys.